mental health disorders. So let's simplify it, shall we? In simple terms, it is where your thought processes or your thought pattern or how you actually choose to think based on programming and conditioning are actually out of order. I don't mean out of order as in not working. I mean out of order in terms of dysfunction. So when we construct thought patterns and we actually think about things, we're never actually told how we construct these in the first place. So because we're never taught how to put them together in the first place, then the question becomes how have we put them together? Because ultimately what we're then looking at is the fact that we've constructed these in a manner that either protected or promoted us in childhood and subsequently later in life go on to punish us because they're outdated and they haven't been updated to where we currently stand and how we currently think and then align those with the views of the world that is ultimately ever changing. So what we have to do is if you have a mental disorder or a mental health disorder, then what we need to start doing is going back through and looking at exactly why your thought processes are out of alignment with your actual way of thinking. So you will have new ways of looking at things. You will then have different things that you want to change the way that you look at them. But ultimately, all of these come from your mental constructs. So we have to then get to the point whereby we're sifting through these mental constructs and then aligning them with what the outcome is that we wish to achieve. So I'll go into a bit more detail and we will look at, you want a certain outcome in life, but your outcome is dependent upon changing your mindset. But your mind was set because at some point in time, you were either taught victim mentality or you were taught survival and coping mechanisms. We weren't ever taught how we actually thrive and how we actually grow and develop. So these will instantly give you resistance and blocks that need to then be worked through. When we work through these blocks, we can then start achieving exactly what we wish to in life. And then when we actually achieve these things, we can then start rewiring the identity that then becomes the person that we were actually meant to be. So there's something to think about, but this hill is quite an incline, as you can probably tell. So I'll leave it there for now. But as always, until next time, trust the process, and it's bye for now.